Hey guys, and welcome back to another Roblox Creepypasta series episode here on the channel. It is episode 28, guys. Um, this the, the, the series has been so inconsistent. Sometimes it's been coming out every Sunday, sometimes it hasn't. But it is the last episode of 2020. It's actually the last video. Of 2020 as well there will be another video coming out um, obviously for two years on the channel we have been reviewing the year as a whole um, but that will be coming out but I'm talking about like actual Roblox related content that will uh, be coming out this year so it's, it's hopefully it will be a good one I have faith that it will be a good one um, but yeah if you're new to the Roblox Creepypasta series here on the channel, basically what we do is we go onto the Roblox Creepypasta wiki and we read a story off there. It's really that simple. First, we read through the story and then we give our thoughts, opinions, views, etc. at the end. And then you guys can participate in the series by um, leaving your thoughts on it as well down below. I always like to read what you guys think of it and, and we're basically critics of um, the Roblox creepypasta community, you know? Just self-proclaimed critics. But yeah, today we've got an interesting one that caught my eye. Um, it's called Rontanian and it, 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 I don't know why it caught my eye, but it did. And um, after scrolling through it, it, it really does seem in detail and it's, and it's a more lengthy one um than the previous ones we've done so it should be a very interesting one but without further ado let's get into this creepypasta ron tanian i'm not really in the mood to tell the story because most of the stories people tell are usually fake and for attention but i feel for the safety of other users i should tell it it was 8 35 on a friday i had just finished my homework and was eager to do something on roblox since i had been bored straight for three days and had everything important done for the week. I turned on my computer and began browsing Roblox myth groups, particularly the ones filled with people who want to be noticed by YouTubers. I laughed at the sight of a few with bad grammar. Actually, never mind. It wasn't a few, it was the whole lot of them. Anyway, I had hit the seventh page of it when I noticed a user named Rontanian. Unfortunately for me, later I began to wish I had not noticed it, for my ignorance would have been true bliss. His avatar was white on the arms and head, with a grey shirt and blue pants, mainly the avatar of a 2011, 2011 user. His comment was something in what I assumed to be French, although nothing came up when I tried to translate it. I clicked on his profile and my computer froze for about 5 seconds on a white screen with two black dots on the top left. His bio said, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, meaning divided we stand in Finnish. I supposed he must have been a native speaker of several European languages. I checked out his games. He had two primarily the place of immortal despair and the crimson crimson realm the first one was just a statue with people similar to the place of bobby's underscore here the statue was wearing a crown and was holding a cane while the people saluted him i noticed the bottom of the map showed the same statue pointing at the people which were instead corpses as opposed to their living counterparts there was a small shack with a picture in it which i could not see from a distance as it was too blurry for my eyes to make out the next game included rontanian standing in a red place with a red sky and a cross in front of him his head was down and what i assumed to be smith colt putting his arm to comfort him this led me to instantly assume that he was a wannabe like everyone else because smith colt is just a famous myth that started the whole cult family conspiracy or whatever anybody can call it but boy oh boy was i wrong about him being faked i left the game so i could play arsenal one of my favorite games i was dominated the entire server with people giving me mean messages claiming i was hacking when in fact i had irritated their egos i had been playing the server for about 20 minutes before my game froze with a buzzing sound coupled with the looping sounds of the weapons i almost fell out of my chair at the sound and quickly turned off my audio before roblox crashed with a message containing the words that but in a font i had never ever seen before it was unusual for roblox to crash since i had my internet fixed a week ago and i was on my new high quality 1080p pc i got back on and noticed i had a message in my inbox from rontanian the message was in swedish this time it was just repeating the word inequality over and over again when i went back to my profile my avatar was the same as rontanian's but with a black head the sigh of 
the claimed. My favorites were full of games with random jumbled text, as if someone had slammed their heads onto the keyboards repeatedly in a gesture of intense anger. I still had my 137 friends, but they were all just duplicates of Rentanian, not one spared. I noticed the new game in my recently played games. It was simply called home. I joined it hesitantly, and it was a house made in incredible detail, something that would have taken months to create if done alone. I walked around exploring in both wonder and fear. Every room seemed to become more and more dilapidated to the point where they, there was grass and mold on every surface, the air reeking of decay and fungal spores. I decided to turn around and go back the way I came. When I saw Rontanian standing to my right, staring at me with an otherworldly look. His name wasn't on the bar in the top right, and his eyes contained almost a million forming colours overlapping each other, moving around as if he was a celestial god and not just a Roblox character. As I stood there looking at him, he suddenly approached me with a burst of speed and a very unusual animation, as if he was trying to mimic an octopus, a cat, and a human at the same time, resulting in his limbs chaotically convulsing. When he crashed into my character, various images began popping up on my screen, some of which I recognized from weird YouTube videos or just plainly strange images from the internet. Others were extremely disturbing and even terrifying at some points. My computer froze at one last image before it crashed, the tension causing my heart to bounce around inside of my body attempting to escape. It was a picture of a rotting corpse sitting cross-legged in a room that looked similar to the one I had just seen a few seconds earlier, the shriveled skull grinning in Definitely. The same words of that were above him in a font that looked like the acrylic script, but without any detail. I'm surprised I was even able to know what it said at all, let alone remember it. After this predicament, I was sent to the your PC ran into a problem screen. When it was done, I got back onto the Roblox play and everything was back to normal. For now, my avatar was back to normal and the message had disappeared, along with the games I played. Almost as if the whole thing had played out in my head, like it had never happened at all. My Wi-Fi acted up a bit after that, but it resumed working after I restarted my router, giving me room for a sigh of relief. I haven't experienced anything like this again, and my computer is just fine, but rarely, I swear, I can still see Rontanian in the corner of my screen, gazing at me through the screen itself. Wow! Just sink that in for a moment. What a creepy pasta this is. In fact, I'm gonna go on a limb. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is a contender for the best creepypasta we've ever read on the series. My word, it was interesting. You know, there was not one time I wanted to stop reading this creepypasta. I didn't get tired of it. The grammar and spelling was absolutely brilliant. Um, it was an interesting story, you know. I kept wanting to know more the whole time. Um, Rontanian seemed like a very interesting character. I really, really did like this story, and and this is what more people need to do in the series, you know, because, you know, we don't just read good creepypastas on the series, we read, I, I don't want to say bad, but like average creepypastas, because I still believe everyone can improve on their creepypastas, but this is absolutely amazing, this, definitely, definitely, you know, um, I feel like if, if I had to give someone uh, a Roblox creepypasta to read, I would give them this one, because this one is so, so, I, I wouldn't say it's perfect, I don't feel like you can get a perfect one, you know, but I feel like it's it's so descriptive, it's so informative, you know what's going on, you know, there's some, me uh, the, the really cool thing is that it, there's some message there's messages, there's some mentions to other creepypastas, um, has well, such as Smith Colt, um, which is pretty cool. And, and yeah, the detail in this is absolutely amazing. The, the detail is just something that really caught my attention because that is amazing. And this is, again, like I said, what a way to end the Roblox Creepypasta series in 2020 because I, I absolutely love the story. I really, really did. But, um, yeah, amazing story. Really, really, really amazing story. And I feel like the ending was good as well. You know, uh, it kind of like nothing happened to me, but at the same time, I still get this feeling, you know, that he's there, um, which is absolutely amazing. I love that ending because the ending, the ending, it's weird because I like endings that leave you on the limb, right? This one, 
I get a weird feeling about the ending, you know? I get I get not not like it's just leaving me there where um I I want to know what's going on next, but kind of like it, it, this is happening, you know. I, I don't know if I can explain that perfectly enough, but it, it's it's weird. I get a very different feeling from the ending overall. But yeah, this is a creepy pasta I really do enjoy. I really, really do like this creepy pasta because this is absolutely brilliant. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down below um, as well because again, I really do think this is a really cool creepy pasta and um, i'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed it too but yeah guys thank you so much for all the support you've shown on this series uh this year of course it is a series i did start this year um and it's a series i'm definitely going to be continuing in 2021 because um hopefully with more consistency but yeah you guys seem to enjoy this and the series is definitely the most successful series i've ever done on this channel which is absolutely amazing so it will be continuing in 2021 which will be great but hopefully with more consistency as i said um but yeah guys for now I will see you for episode 29 in 2021. But for now, that is it for this video. Peace and out.